over 75 million people in New York. 2020 was possibly the strangest year any of us have experienced. To break it all down, I would liken the COVID experience to the five stages of grief you hear about in TV shows. Closing beaches in Europe, the crisis growing. The first of which being denial. I didn't believe at first that COVID was something to be concerned about. I honestly thought it was going to be an extended break, a chance to do things I didn't usually have time for. Then I entered the next stage, anger. At this point, I descended into a fiery pit of rage as I kept seeing patronizing commercials about the new normal and all the incredibly stupid things celebrities were doing to pass the time. Then came the bargaining. If only I had time to do more with my life while I still could, I told myself. Then maybe I wouldn't feel like I'm missing out on literally everything. Then came the depression. The concept of time didn't seem to exist. I was merely floating through the days. I began to question, what's the point of doing anything? But eventually, I decided that I had to do something. I may not have control over the virus, but I did have control over what I did with my time. I decided that I couldn't wait for quarantine to end to resume to my life. I had to take matters into my own hands. I had arrived at the final stage, acceptance. It has been more than 50 days since the first COVID-19 vaccine went into an American's arm outside of a clinical trial. But what do we know so far about how the vaccines are working and are they beginning to contain the pandemic? Bob Woodruff has this week's Vaccine Watch. The End.